G'day, g'day from Down Under, Aussie Mystery Pop, my mate Ollie. Um, today I've got a video that I've been wanting to do for a few weeks. Um, it's about buying from eBay. I've had quite a few comments on people that are a bit worried about buying stuff from eBay in Australia. Can't talk for anywhere else, obviously, but in Australia. Um, yeah, so I've gone out and got a few things to sort of, you make up your own mind. Um, I've had, oh, I've bought tons of mystery boxes. I couldn't even tell you how many. All sorts. Um, and in all that time, I've had one parcel that was ruined by Australia Post. Uh, and that was taken quite quickly. Quite they, Australia Post took care of that real quick. They, they acknowledged that it was their doing and it was taken care of. The other one was uh, I bought a box of three pops. Um, in the description it was just three Funko Pops, random, uh, I think it was, I don't know, $25 or something, $30, no, $30 for three Pops. Uh, when they got here they were out of the box, they were just loose in a box. Um, and I've got, there was nothing in the description that said they were out of the box, so I contacted the seller, the seller took forever, it didn't get back to me, I, over a week I sent her probably three messages in the description that said Funko, and they said it was boxed. Didn't say anything about out of the box. Um, got nothing out of the seller, so I just contacted eBay, and eBay got back to me within an hour, um, and they checked the account out, and then all of a sudden, she got in contact with me, um, making up all sorts of uh, all the they were obviously out of the box, and you know I said, well that's not what your ad said. Sent her a couple of screenshots, and then eBay contacted me again and said, was I happy? And I said no. So it was within. They're one of their rules about accurate description. So within 24 hours, long story short, within 24 hours I had the refund in my account from the seller and she refunded the postage and I still have the pops floating around here somewhere. Um, that was probably my only bad experience. Um, I've had pops turn up in bad boxing. Um, like for instance, that beer box one I did. If you haven't seen that, check out my beer box mystery box. But even then, um, once I cleaned the pops up, I mean, they were covered in cockroach shit. But once I cleaned them up, I got well and truly over the value of the box anyway. So they were all in pretty good nick. So other than that, everything's been spot on. A bit of common sense falls into play. Um, if they've got no pictures up or the description's just you know, a pop in a box, well, come on, you know, you've got to use a bit of common sense. Check out their selling history. Check out what other things they've got for sale. Um, description's important, make sure, I mean as soon as they say they, they'll come bubble wrapped or they're from, don't fit into their collection or not, you know, non-smoking environment, all that's, if they take the care to do that, well you know that you're pretty much on a winner to start with. Um, I like getting six pops with a guaranteed chase because that's what I like, but you can also get single pops. Um, there are mystery box from stores. I do Poptaria and Stash Hero and a couple of others. I don't buy the pops under my channel's name, so it's completely anonymous. I'm just like anyone else. So there's no favoritism from anything. I think one of the major stores has figured it out, but that's not hard to do. Um, yeah, so I'd probably say 80% of my collection is mystery boxes. I mean, obviously, if I want a pop, I go and buy it. I've got pretty good rapport with my couple of local stores I go to um, but yeah I mean have a go uh, and just to prove a point I went out and got some mystery boxes just a couple to prove a point <laughs> just a couple um, my wife has opened all these boxes because I didn't want to spend time on stash and whatnot so she's opened all these up. I'm still, I have no idea what's in them. I haven't seen them. And she's written it down on a piece of paper what they are and their values. So I have no idea, but I've got, um, these are all from different sellers. I've got two, four, five, seventeen dollar pops. Now these are pops including the shipping. So to the door. So seventeen dollar pops and I've got two, three, for five fifteen dollar pops to the door. Um, this one is from a person I've never uh, has no history, so I always check the seller's history to get the feedback. This person is a first-time seller, 
So I've even gone to that length just to see how we go. So they've, they've bought plenty of things, but they've never sold on eBay before. So this is the first time they've sold a pop. Um, these two are from the same place. And then doubles. Dub, you know, avoid. Sometimes if you buy two, you get a little bit of a discount. And you can use your eBay codes. Always check your eBay codes before you buy. Usually you've got to spend over 50 or over 70 to get a code. But sometimes they have promotions on. Use them. But these are all to the door. So $15 pop to the door, $17 pop to the ball, to the door. 15 and 17, that's all I did. So there'd be 10 pops in total here. With a, so we spent $160 on every one's a different seller. Um, and I've never bought from any of them. And one's a first time seller himself. So like I said, my wife's written down on a piece of paper over here how much they are and what they are. So if we haven't got to go doing that because I hate making the long videos. So this is just for those guys that are a little bit, oh, I don't really know, I'm not really sure. We're a bit funny down here in Oz. I mean, we don't screw each other over. It's, you don't do that to a mate. So, and eBay is pretty strict. Um, I always pay with PayPal, always. I never pay any other way. And always check that they have a money back guarantee, even on a mystery box. Uh, that covers you for the product, not the values and stuff. It's just that that's what you're actually getting, like in the case of out of the box. You, you, you've got to guarantee yourself, cover yourself. So yeah, let's crack on. I'll do the $15 ones first, but I don't want this to go forever. So one pop, $15 delivered, barrel from Disney. I have a few Nightmare Before Christmas, so that's cool, very cool. Um, first time seller. Here's a $15. Ah, <laughs> uh, scraunchy, scraunchy, Rick and Morty. This pot won't end up in my collection. It probably won't even last on the bench for five minutes. My kids will destroy this pot. They will take this pot and I'll never see it again. They love Rick and Morty. So that's a winner. That's cool. Excellent. Uh, there's two $15 pops in this one. Oh yeah, with these two, uh, most of these ones, there's a lot of these around at the moment. There's still a few online for $17. I think there's another one for three pops for $50 delivered to your door with a guaranteed exclusive and or chase. You've got a one in four chance. I think the 15s were a one in five chance and the $17 were a one in four chance of an exclusive. Uh, a con sticker or, you know, could be an egg. So, uh, cool, Pennywise. Pennywise with spider legs, it pop. I've got quite a few, it's only got eight or nine of them now, and I haven't got this one. So that's super sweet. These are all the $15 ones. Uh, I just said the, you got the chance, we pulled a, uh, a con sticker. This is the Fugitive Predator. This is the one with the fading legs, which I haven't got, so that's good. I do like the Predators. So does Ollie. We ate the hound not long ago. So I'm keeping an eye on you. Yes, you, turd. Uh, another $15 one. Uh, Nose more. Ralph Rex the internet. I've got a couple of Ralph Pops, so very good. I mean, you've all seen these. These are, you know, only $15 and $17 boxes, so we're not expecting massive money. But I'll just about guarantee that we will come out, if not even ahead, because that's just how it rolls. So they're the $15 ones. So I can do the $15 ones. Uh, what does she say? So $75 we spent on the $15 boxes. So that's five pops, $15 each, $75. The total value of the pops was 76, so we're $1, $1 up. Uh, Penny, the, the It Pop was 14, Predator, Con, the convention one was 18, Rick and Morty was 14, uh, Wreck-It Ralph one was 13, and the Disney Barrel was 17. So a dollar up. No biggie, but cool pops. None of which I have already got. Rick and Morty's disappeared, he's gonna go, and the rest will fit in my collection. Very cool. 
seventeen dollar pops. <laughs> That's a bit freaky. We have Fugitive Predator. It's not the convention one. It's the target only one, the red one, which is very cool. I haven't got that one. The target only sticker, that's um, from America. Sometimes when they send pops over here, they leave the sticker on, not from your major stores. We do have targets here, but they, and they do stock pops, but not a lot. I think they've got Fortnite and, I don't know what was selling on Fortnite and, oh, there was something else, but it's only, it's a very select, very, very small few and they sit there forever. So we don't have the stickers here, so that's an American sticker from their target. So that's cool. Uh, $17 box, two pops. I find two, this is a little trick, if you buy two, you've got more chance of getting conventions or you get the, the stickered ones because they throw them in. Uh, I like these pops, I don't know why I like these pops, but they're growing on me. Uh, this is Prasheen Mermaid. I don't know what it is about these things, they're so girly, but I like them. I've got another one. Which one have I got? The one with the egg dragon, dragon sheen. I got it out of a Poptaria box. But that's cool. I don't know why I like them, but I do. Okay, this is a double. Another convention one. This is Ant-Man. Um, I have a, a, I traded an Ant-Man a couple of weeks ago. So I've got, this is, yeah, this will be a double because I did have another one. I think I had three at one stage. But you're going to get that. I have... I have over 500 pops now, so you're going to get doubles, but that's a good one to have as a double for a tray, better than just a common, very cool. Last box, we have, very cool, Cindy Lou Who, the Grinch, who doesn't like the Grinch? Love the Grinch. And who doesn't like little Cindy Lou Who? Cindy Lou Who. Very cool. And the last one. Wow, I haven't seen this pop before. It's a 2016 New York Comic Con Limited Edition, The Darkest Night Batman. I've never seen that pop. I like that pop. I don't collect DC very much. I have seen a few on the back. I think I have a couple of Batmans from DC. But that's, yeah, he's pretty cool. I like that. Not bad. All right, so it's 10 pops. So out of the $17 pops, uh, we spent $85 on the mystery boxes with a value of 108. So the Red Predator was 32, Cindy Lou Who was 13, the Batman, oh, that's the, the blue Batman up there, is 25, Ant-Man's 23, and the Pasheen is 15. So that was a total of 108. So, where is she right down here? So $160 we, in total we bought uh, we got $184 in value according to Stashpedia so that's $24 up so as far as eBay mystery boxes everything in there I'm happy with the double well I've traded one already I'm pretty sure I can get rid of that pretty easy for something that I like that's what I like about the mystery boxes it's like Christmas and if you get something that you don't really like or you've already got you someone else hasn't got it and they'll have something that you do so it's all part and parcel, but the rest of them will fit right in without a problem. So yeah, my advice on eBay in Australia, go for it. I love it. Um, do your homework, don't be dumb. Common sense kicks in a lot um, and have fun with it. Really have fun with it. Anyway guys, if you like what we're doing, um, subscribe to you guys that have. Thank you very much. We've hit over 250, that's fantastic. Ollie got a nice big seed bell, which nearly made him sick because he ate the whole lot. But um, yeah, thanks a lot guys, much love to all. It's cheers from me. What about you? You're gonna be, oh, you're gonna be nice. You're gonna be nice. That's nice. Bet you bite me now. Cheers from Ollie. Thanks for watching guys.